for joining me with a, another Sew Up Pro tutorial brought to you by The Baby's Booty. This tutorial is a simple uh, tutorial. It won't take us long to work this up at all. What we're going to do in this episode is we're going to take an existing hand sanitizer key fob and we're going to change one design of the key fob into a completely different design on the front of the key fob. Melissa with Designs of Little B has made other designs available, just the front cover. And we're gonna show you how easy it is in Sew so It Pro to adjust that and change it over to the right key fob just by using the front of the design. Give me a moment and I'll show you exactly what we're talking about. Now, I don't know if you were able to see the prior video that I did, the tutorial on how to put together the hand sanitizer key fob, as you see in the picture right there. Um, if not, you'll find a link that pops up up at the top of the screen that will take you to that video. And you can watch that there to show how to put that hand sanitizer together. Now, that particular hand sanitizer is the one that's showing on our Sewa Pro screen right here to the left up above me. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this design for this hand sanitizer, keep up, and we're going to add one of these sports ball designs to the front of this key fob instead of the hearts and the circle monogram. It's very easy to do. What we're going to do is blow this up and I'm actually going to change the hoop uh, because this hoop is entirely too big for this four x four key fob hand sanitizer key fob. So let's adjust the hoop size, which you can also use the quick shortcut on your keyboard control plus H, but I'm gonna click this green um, hoop icon here. And as we see, it's the seven by five hoop. That's entirely too big. So let's scroll up and you'll see here that the four by four hoop 3.94 by 3.94 is right here. So we'll select that and hit OK. And now it's the right size. And I'm going to blow it up just a little bit. So as I mentioned prior to, this is the monogram, the heart with the monogram circle frame. We don't want that. We actually want to do the sports ball. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and bring in one of those sports balls. All right, so let's go to file and we're gonna hit merge. And I put those on the desktop. So if we go on the desktop to sports sanitizers, let's pick the football because it's football time right now. So here is the football sanitizer and we'll select that and hit open. So notice it brought it in over the top of the current hand sanitizer file. If you move it, you'll see that it fits as it's supposed to. But we're gonna set that off to that side for the time being. Now the way the hand sanitizer fob works is if you take a moment to watch the other video, you'll know that the first color stop, which is right here in sailor blue, is your placement stitches. You stitch that first on your stabilizer to show you where to place the vinyl uh, for your decor stitches, or as we see here, the heart with the circle monogram. So you place the vinyl on top of these blue stitches as soon as they stitch and you make sure that the vinyl overlaps all of that. Then your next stitch is starting the actual design with the hearts. And then that's the placement stitch for the monogram. Then you have 
uh, the tack down stitch for the fabric behind the monogram and then you have your monogram circle and that's your um, back side of your vinyl for your key fob so what we want to do is instead of stitching out these hearts we want to stitch out the football so the football stitches are here there's your outline there's your um, actual football design okay so and this is the last step on the original one so these two steps were the ones that were added eight and nine so what we're going to do is we're going to insert eight and nine in the place of the heart design okay so we'll go ahead and we know that the heart is stop number two we'll hit delete on our keyboard and that takes the hearts away two three and four we know we don't need those either so we'll hit delete select the next one hit delete and finally our satin outline stitch and we'll hit, hit delete on that so that just leaves our placement tack down stitch or the placement stitches this is the tack down that's the final step and now we'll move to the football so four and five we want to go before the second color stop so there's a couple of ways to do that we can hold down our shift key on our keyboard click and hold down paprika and you see there's a little square that forms there that's letting you know you can move it so we're going to move that up to position number two and let go so now it's going to stitch this outline and then five is the football stitches so we're going to select that hold down shift and drag it up to number three because we definitely want it to be in the same uh, order that it was in prior to so we'll do number two then we'll do number three then we'll do four which is the final outline and then five which is the very last step to the hand sanitizer now this is over here and we want it over here right so let's select just this by going to click number two and number three and i held down the control key and clicked on two control is still held down and i click three and it selects the football so we're going to click on it and drag it over and put it in place okay and now if you look at your lines you want to make sure that it's lined up the way it's supposed to be so you can use the arrow keys to bump it up and over and that's still off a little bit so I'm going to click and drag it just a smidge drag it just a smidge over and as you see barely it's covering those lines and you want to check those lines all the way around until you don't see any more of the dotted line from the other pattern when you click off it fits in its place like it's supposed to so we went from the heart monogram hand sanitizer to now the football hand sanitizer holder very easy so now all you have to do is stitch it out and instead of it being hearts now it's going to be a football so i hope the tutorial was easy enough for you there weren't that many steps as a matter of fact we could probably do another one really quickly so we would merge and we can go back to these sports balls just to recap and show you how that works we'll go with the basketball this time we'll open it there's our basketball move it to the side basketball is step number six and step number seven and make sure when you're bringing in your new design you're going file merge right because if you do open it's going to close this out and put your basketball on a completely different page and you'll be missing your tab okay the placement for your snap tab and your final stitches because that's not on here now remember in the 
prior design we moved steps two and three up to these positions to take away the hearts and the uh, circle for the monogram so this time we're going to take away step two and you can right click on it and hit delete thread and we're going to take away this one you can highlight it and just hit delete on the keyboard and it goes away so we still want to maintain our step one we also want to keep step two and three because those are the final steps to the hand sanitizer but four and five is new and that's for the basketball so we're going to move four remember two is one of the final stitches so four we're going to move up to position number two and five will go to position number three now earlier i mentioned there was two ways to move that remember the first way is hold down the shift key and click on it and you'll see that square that will let you drag it but you also can go to edit order threads and it pulls up edit thread order so here is the old listing of the thread just like you see over here but this is the new order of where you want it to go so step one we want to leave the same step two and three is going to move down to four and five so we'll take number four and make that a two because we want that to be step number two remember and step number five is going to come after step number two so we want this to be step number three and now step number two and three is going to turn into step four and five now to me this is the more complicated way to rearrange the stitches because you have to remember the steps in their orders by the number but that's okay if you are able to reorder them better that way go ahead and use the edit thread order option because it, it can work for some but in our instance I've reordered it so all you have to do is hit OK and if you notice over here all of your steps are reordered now that has turned into two that has turned into three four and five is in their proper place so the only thing left is to select two hold down control and still click three and then move them over into place just like we did with the football and we're going to line that up on those dotted lines and as we see we still see the gray line here and we still see there's some space there so we don't want that so click it and drag it down a smidge until you don't see those lines anymore in there now we don't have the football nor do we have our hearts now it's a basketball how easy was that so again hope you enjoyed the tutorial and now the recap look forward to seeing some of your creations with these hand sanitizer key fobs and this also makes it really simple melissa can create just the front facing part the decor part and then you can bring that over and change it on your own without having to uh, worry about all the different types of files and making it bigger she can combine them all into one really easy pack of uh, designs that can be changed for our hand sanitizer holders which are really cool they are becoming my favorite so we look forward to seeing you guys in another so what pro tutorial in the future and until the next time happy embroidering